Early this morning, the FBI raided a home in Riverside, California, right next door to where the family of Syed Farouk used to live. While federal agents won't say yet what they found, ISIS now claims Farouk and his 29-year-old Pakistani-born wife, Tashfeen Malik, were, quote, soldiers of the caliphate. The couple died in a shootout with police after the attack this past Wednesday. Our coverage tonight begins with Carter Evans. Authorities today raided the home of a man who may have provided the two assault rifles used in Wednesday's massacre in San Bernardino. CBS News has confirmed that Enrique Marquez was a childhood friend of suspect Saeed Rizwan Farouk. He's not been seen publicly since Wednesday. We're also learning more about Farouk's wife, Tashfeen Malik. Her student ID from Pakistan points to a highly educated woman who lived in this home and was trained as a pharmacist. Just how she became a suburban California housewife turned mass murderer along with her husband, Saeed Rizwan Farouk, is at the heart of the investigation. The couple's Redlands apartment was also an arsenal with 12 pipe bombs and 6,700 bullets. In a dumpster nearby, federal investigators recovered two smashed cell phones. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News they were in contact with at least one individual on the terror watch list. David Bowditch Morning, is everyone. with the FBI. What of that are you ready to confirm publicly? What I'm ready to confirm is there are some telephonic connections between these two individuals, at least one of these individuals, and other subjects of our investigation. The FBI won't say who those subjects are, but evidence from the couple's home might be key to explaining if and how they became radicalized. Among the items seized, memory cards, audio cassettes, notebooks, and receipts from gun shops. Also a mystery, why they chose to attack Farouk's workplace holiday party and if they were ready to strike again. Do you think they were planning another attack? Yeah, I think they were doing something. Former Redlands Police Chief Jim Bierman says this may signal a change in the way terrorists choose their targets. We seek simplistic answers. It's either radicalized violence or it is workplace violence. And the reality is it could be both. Jim, authorities are asking everyone in the area to be on the lookout and be vigilant. They've established a hotline and they're now taking calls from anyone who may have seen something suspicious. Carter Evans in San Bernardino, thank you.